All right, next up, we've got a Macon native, a legendary Florida State Seminole, and an Olympian. Let's see the video. That's right, go nose. Good evening, everyone. <laughs> and congratulations to this awesome and most handsome induction class. I mean, I'm, I'm surrounded by some beautiful men. <laughs> oh, I'm got to get out this light. So I can get my three minutes in, my three minutes. Okay, so I was sitting in my office, which is right down the street, and I got a call from Mr. Bobby Pope. If you know anything about Mr. Pope, Brenda, how would you like to add another award to your list? I said, sir, how would you like to add another award to your list? I said, okay. <laughs> he said, you're going in, you're going in. You're going to be in the George House Post Hall of Fame. I said, for real? I got to call my mama. <laughs> <laughs> so that was absolutely great. Thank you, Mr. Pope. Okay, oh my goodness. In the words of an old, some of you all remember, because if you're in your 50s, you remember an old vintage um, commercial, um, Old Water Feeling by uh, Toyota. Well, for me, oh, what a feeling, a Georgia Sports Hall of Fame inductee. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely awesome. Oh, what a feeling. It's been an absolutely great weekend. I'm so, I'm gonna get through it. I'm gonna get through it. I'm gonna get through it. It's been, it is, y'all have no idea. No idea, and I've been talking in front of cameras for years and I'm about to fall out up here. <laughs> okay, so moving forward, okay. Now, though that wall of fame will bear my name, only, it is obvious that to me, without one heck of a supporting cast, this just doesn't happen, y'all. This just doesn't happen without a supporting cast. So much so that Matthew 13 and 6 reads, but when the sun came up, the plants were scorched, and the withered because they had, and they withered because they had no root. My root began with an absent father that was obviously initially present but here I stand. <laughs> yes, there's always some good in everybody. <laughs> always, I always believe that. A single parent mom who has, who wasn't always has been absolutely the best of the best. The best of the best. And yes, given an occasional laying of hands when necessary, <laughs> saying things like, wish I could catch you on your knee asking some guy to, uh, to marry you after I expressed to her <laughs> that I liked Leroy Thomas Jr. so much that if he doesn't ask me to marry, I'm gonna ask him to marry me. <laughs> he did ask, thank you, baby, you saved my scalp. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, y'all bear with me, I gotta get this out. Also, my absolute awesome, Sisters, brothers, cousins, all this family may not have a bloodline. Y'all know who I'm talking about, but absolute awesome family. They're the best. They've been the best in my life. So thank you all so much. Ladies from a Rodney Davis home that said, hey, we're going to get together and give Brenda a going away present, a going away party, going to college. Mr. Willis, you're out there. You're a beautiful mother. Miss Singleton, may you rest in peace. So all those great people, the village, where I come from, the village. Okay, a four foot nothing, I hope Miss Alman Batch is in here, but a four foot nothing basketball coach who was a giant to a group of young girls who just wanted to play basketball in eighth grade. A gigantuan, you know who I'm talking about, a, gig a gigantuan high school coach who was so much more than a coach who took a group of young, mostly single parent home young girls to places like a inf the infamous Pascals up in Atlanta, who also, if he told you to be there at three and you're late at 3.0 in a second when the bus pulling off and you're like, uh-oh, you better chase that bus and get to that destination and you're still not gonna start because I told you three o'clock. <laughs> so thank you so much, coach. Okay, I'm getting there, y'all, okay. All those great educators in FSU, Florida State University who afforded me the opportunity to become a college graduate. Now, I had the unmitigated gall to not take advantage of that because I forgot the student before the athlete. Hence the word student, y'all. Y'all know what I'm saying. Y'all know what I'm saying, all of us in here. 
But they were so generous and so kind, gave me a second chance, and I am a college graduate. Thank God for them. Yes. So again, I say root to a fire chief for years in my ear like a gnat. Have you taken any supervision classes? Have you done this? And I'm thinking, why is he all in my ear like a little gnat? Well, I said, well, maybe he knows something I don't know. But he saw something I obviously didn't see. He saw the fact that, yes, you could one day become the fire, first female fire prevention director. You could one day become the first female to become with the rank of chief on that wonderful make and build, class one make and build kind of fire department. Thank you, Chief Riggins. Okay, okay. I'm coming, coming, I'm coming, I promise, I promise. Okay, also, closing out. Matthew 5 and 15 tells us all that we should let your light so shine before men that, that may see your good deeds and glorify our Father. So to this great community for your consideration and your affirmation, I thank you. My great supporting cast and all of those that thought enough of me to care, I love you, I love you, and I truly love you. And if you would indulge me one thirty seconds later, if my wonderful root and supporting cats, would you please stand? My mother, my family, all of y'all. Y'all know y'all stand up. Thank you. Take a bow. My co-workers, all of you. My root, my root. Thank y'all so much. It has been an absolute great, great, great weekend. Oh my gosh, where's my ring? Where's my ring? Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs>